hi guys welcome to another video on the bougie budget uk channel today i am doing something new so i am going to start incorporating what i've saved in a month videos into my schedule so i've got here this sinking funds tracker i just made this on um canva because i have a canva pro subscription for my instagram posts so instead of just buying one of these on etsy i just made it on canva pro but loads of people do sell these templates on etsy and they're not that expensive you just have to download them and print them at home um but i just like i said put this together on canva i've got all of my sinking funds here and we're just going to count them up and what i'm going to do is i am just doing what i've saved this year so if you've been here for a little while i saved uh five thousand pounds towards my house deposit last year and 3200 in my uh, emergency fund but we're not counting that i'm just counting what i've saved this year and i'm not counting what i've saved in total for some things because i've spent money so like i've booked holidays using the money in my holiday fund i've um bought some stuff from my lux fund so i'm only counting what i actually have either in cash or in the bank currently not what i've saved in total so hopefully that makes sense let's get to it it is saturday when i'm filming this i have been busy today so this is the saturday before easter sunday and you'll see this video on easter sunday morning so happy easter if you celebrate but yeah it's been a busy day i woke up at like six just before six went to tesco's got all like the sides for easter dinner so gonna have like roast potatoes yorkshire puddings pigs in blankets salad uh coleslaw all of that kind of stuff roasted parsnips roasted carrots so i went to tesco's to get all of that stuff then i went to the butchers came home unpacked went to the butchers um got a couple of racks of lamb for easter dinner and then i went to the charity shop to drop off a big bag of clothes that have just been sitting on my landing for months went to the post office paid in some cash uh went to waitrose got uh like an easter reef for the front door and some more yorkshire puddings and came home did a little bit of cleaning and i'm gonna film i'm gonna just clean the living room a little bit today get as many loads of washing and drying on and hopefully somewhere in there i will relax but yeah today has been a busy day this is my last big task to do so i'm literally just gonna go through each of my sinking funds and saving challenges count them up write it down and let's see how much we have so starting with the beyonce fund which is timely because she released her new album yesterday, Cowboy Carter, which I've been listening to all day today. And I love it. Okay. So this money is for if I want to buy some merch, um, if she releases concert tickets, um, anything like that. This is what this fund is for. So in the Beyonce fund, I've got 5152. Just put that in there. And I'm going to write it in this month. So we've got 200. And then BravoCon. This is for a convention that takes place in the US. Usually it's in New York. Last year it was in Vegas. So it's for Bravo celebrities, um, like Real Housewives stars, Vanderpump Rules, uh, Below Deck, which I actually don't watch um all of those kind of people that were on bravo there's a convention that happens so i'm saving up one day not any time soon to go there so in here i've got 50 150 in bravo con so 150 f off fund is for if i want to f off <laughs> so uh usually people use it for like say if you're renting and you needed to move out and you needed to deposit quickly um even if like you own a house and you wanted to um, move quickly just have access to some money if you had a job that you didn't like and you just wanted to leave the job but you didn't have another job necessary to go to it's kind of like an emergency fund 
if you're trying to take a spontaneous trip because life is hard and you just want to get away for a little bit so that's why i've got this money so what 51 52 in here and then these i'm putting like 50 pounds a month in them so that's ethel fund has 200 and then the bougie budget uk is for this channel or my instagram so if i want to do a giveaway if i need to post something to somebody um anything like that would come from here so we've got 20 40 50 and 60. in the bougie budget uk okay i don't know if i said but these are long time sinking funds so not things i plan to spend money on anytime soon but it's there if i need it just check we are recording we are okay short-term sinking funds so these are things i use way more often some of them are probably pretty empty but we'll go through it anyway so baby z is money for my nephew so i do invest for him every month he has a um, stocks and shares isa that i put like i have a what do you call it direct debit that goes in there every month and then this is just for if i want to buy him i don't know he's into bluey i buy him a lot of bluey stuff clothes shoes anything that i see that i want to buy him I take the money up here so in here now we've got 20 40 60 70 80 80 pounds in here close that up eating out <laughs> so only stuff this oh no look what i've done oh well um i only stuffed this last week when i got paid this week has been what's the word i want to use let's say a roller coaster started off a bit meh went up was really good then it went down again <laughs> was a bit more meh um and then it ended really really well so when it was meh i was eating out and I spent all of the £50 that was in here. So there's only £2 left. Gifts. This is for any occasion, really. I don't save up for individual events. Sometimes I feel like I should. So like today, with the Easter stuff, I spent £60 on food. And I probably should have had like a separate Easter fund for that. But I just never do. <laughs> and I think I'm going to do that next year. Like even if it is just £60 or something. Actually, I spent like £70 today. Yeah. So I just take the money from like my cash envelope. So like groceries, because I'm going on holiday as well in a couple of weeks. I didn't mind taking the money from there. And I took some money from like I have, I suppose it's a buffer in my account, which is leftover money from a bonus that I got in January. So I took the money for Easter from there. But next year, might not have that money so i probably do need to start saving for certain occasions but this is for if i want to buy a one-off gift for someone if it's a birthday uh valentine's day kind of i suppose father's day mother's day all comes from gifts so in here there's 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 20 40 60 80 so 280 in gifts 280 home is not necessarily for appliances because i rent at the moment it's more for to be honest fresh flowers um i don't really use it for furnishing furnishes furn furn okay whatever decoration <laughs> i don't use it for those type of things um i'd probably take it from shopping but yeah i pretty much use this for flowers um so there's oh more than i thought it's 30 pounds in there uh 35 altogether with the change i thought there's only 20 in there but we have 35 okay shopping is for any and everything really so this is going to take a bit of a hit over the next few days because i might not need to buy as much as i think but i explained this in one of my videos like under the bed my bed's an ottoman bed that you lift up and i've got um like storage bags in there and one of the bags is just holiday clothes like things i would never wear in the uk like 
who's wearing a bikini in the UK? Where are you going in the UK that you need to wear a bikini or like a beach cover up or something like that? And I need to go through those clothes before I go on holiday. And I think I do need to buy a couple of bikinis, um, which are expensive. Bikinis are expensive. So I'm probably going to take the money out. Well, I will take the money out of here. I just don't know what I need to buy yet. So in shopping, I've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 10. Plus one pound fifty, so that is three eleven. Oh, there you go. Three eleven fifty. Uh, work lunches. It's pretty self-explanatory. When I go to work, I need to eat. I'm not a meal prepper, so I take the money out of here. So in here, I've got twenty forty five in work lunches uh 45 this one is for so we try and do a monthly date night although this month it was his turn and he hasn't done it um, <laughs> but he's been working a lot so that's fine we'll probably make up for it in april but yeah this is for when it's my turn to host monthly date night sometimes i just buy him snacks because he's he's pretty easy just to he's pretty easy to please let's put it that way as long as he's got some snacks he's cool um so yeah i use it for that kind of stuff so there's 50 pounds in there at the moment 50. got coffee which is for nespresso pods so i don't buy coffee like when I go to work or when I'm out, unless I have um, like a free voucher or something, but I don't really buy coffee. But my Nespresso pods are quite expensive. Like I used to have a Dolce Gusto machine, like you know, the little cheap ones. Um, and you could get the pods from Tesco's and they'd always be on offer. But now that I've got an Espresso one and I've got the Nespresso Virtuo, yeah, I need the Virtuo pods and they don't sell, sell those in supermarkets. So I have to buy them directly from the Nespresso website and you have to buy them in bulk. And they're expensive. So that's what this money is for. So there's 25 in there. So I'm going to put that here. Okay. Um, Microsoft 365. I'm not going to open these because we have trackers. So this is for my annual subscription. So each icon is six. There's three colored in, which makes 18. I if this so you can see. Apple subscription is for anything I pay via my iTunes account. So Apple Music, Canva Pro, Apple Care, uh, Hey You, anything like that comes from here. And actually I'm gonna count this one because I've spent some money out of here when I, renewed my hey you subscription is it change in here no so in here we've got 20 40 50 55 60 and i checked the other day and the next one is canva pro which is 107.99 a year but that's not due until the end of may i said there was 60 pounds in there didn't i so 60 and then last is Prime. That is my annual Prime subscription. Uh, each icon is worth five, so there is 30 pounds in there. I might double check that. It should be correct. I could open it. Yeah, 30 pounds, cool. So those are the short-term sinking funds. And then the last one I'm gonna go through are my, I can stand this up. Yeah, okay, maybe not. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll swap this around. Oh God, oh God. Okay. There you go. Okay, the last one I'll go through is savings challenges. The big one. So, fold over that so christmas 2024 i'm putting 75 pounds a month in here 
So now we have in Christmas 5150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 225. And my goal is 900. Well, I don't think I'll spend 900 pounds, but I might just do like extra special Christmas presents if I have money left over. Holidays. So I'm going to put a, what am I, what am I going to put on the screen? <laughs> a screenshot on my bank account. I have forgotten what the number is and I'm pretty sure, I want to say 863 that's in the bank. I'm going to go with 863, but there is a screenshot up. And then I've got 50 pounds in here. And so this is what I was talking about earlier. So these placeholders represent how much I've saved in total. As you can see, I've been colouring in the tracker. So in total for holidays this year, I've saved 5,000, 6,000, 350. And to be honest, some of that was last year because I'd saved three grand last year to put towards Invisalign. Decided I did want Invisalign and I'll put it towards holidays. So that's, again, why I'm not counting... I'm only counting what I've saved this year and I'm only counting what I actually have available, the cash I actually have available to me. So I'm going to Bali in a couple of weeks. Uh, where does this go here? Yeah, I'm going to Bali in a couple of weeks um, and that's why I've spent most of this money. I've treated myself, I'm going flying business class um, with Qatar Airways. I've booked the hotels, although one of the hotels you pay for it when you get there. I've booked annual travel insurance, all of my transfers, I've booked an excursion. Um, I think that's what I need to book. Oh, you have to pay like a tourist levy. Um, so I need to book that and you have to pay for an e-visa, like to be able to stay in the country for up to 30 days. I'm only gonna be there a week, but you have to pay for that as well. But those are, I think it will cost me 20 pounds altogether. But I'm gonna do that this weekend. So I believe, I've got like 863 and change in the bank plus the 50. So we're going to put down 913 holidays. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But that's how much I think is in the bank. Okay. House deposit, you'll see a screenshot as well. Um, so this year, I have put uh, 835. And I've done it every month. So I've done it in January, February, and we just got paid in March. So times three. Yeah, that's correct. So in house deposit, let me move this. It's two five oh five, and it's going to look like well, it's going to be considerably more on the screenshot because I put five grand in there last year into my lifetime ISA, and I. I did something else. What did I do? Oh, you get a bonus. So for however much you put in there, you get a 25% bonus. So if you put four grand in there, you get a 1,000 pound bonus from the government. And also there's interest. I think even the money might be split out between two accounts, but you'll see the screenshot. I think some of the money is in a savings account because I've maxed out my life. Yeah, it is. Some of the money's in a savings account because I've maxed out my lifetime ISA for this year. So you'll see a screenshot of the savings account balance and you'll see a screenshot of my lifetime ISA balance. But I have actually put in, or there is 2,505 2, pounds that I have deposited into Moneybox towards my house deposit. Okay, Lux. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm trying to get through this video because I'm actually quite tired. I woke up at six, it's one o'clock. Like I said, I've got a couple of other things to do and then I'm gonna relax. So yeah, I wanna get this done so I can edit it and can upload while I take a nap. Um, Lux Fund has 51, 52, 53, 54, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. So it has 480 in Lux. Again, I think I saved, I've saved more than this this year. Or maybe I haven't. But I'd saved, I put 170 a month, three months. Yeah, I'd say a 30 pound more. 
So I put that side pound towards, I think my Jacquemus dress, which I haven't actually worn. I need to find somewhere to wear that dress because it cost me money. Um, my birthday, my birthday is in two months now. I, I don't want to say what I think is happening, but I think somebody, you know, who's the person that should be planning something for me. But I think someone, a man in my life, uh, my man, <laughs> not just a random man, my actual man, I think he's planning something, um, which will be fun. I'm looking forward to it. So my birthday, I've saved 51, 50, 2, 50. So again, I saved more than this. I've been putting 50 pounds a month in there since july so you'll see on the tracker on the back here i've only got one more to tick off but i spent 200 pounds on a pair of airpods pro um which i would have bought for my birthday anyway but my airpods were the old airpods i had were just not working so i bought those last month in tech I've got 51, 50 to 53. So this is to pay off my phone. So I'm paying it monthly via direct debit, interest free from Apple. But I want to pay it off because I don't like money coming out of my account. I do not like direct debits or standing orders. I don't want anyone taking any money from my account. So I am going to pay it off in the summer emergency fund that's quite a bit and we're almost at our first thousand in here so emergency fund has yeah it's all the cash uh 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 5900 pounds in emergency fund so yeah i put 300 pounds a month in here so we can get to we're actually trying to get to um three thirty six hundred this year which would be cool and then almost done disney so this is to go towards a trip in 2027 for me and my nephew to Disneyland Paris. So I've got a while, but might as well start saving early. So in here, there's 50, 1, 50, 70, 90, 210, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55. 255. I don't plan to book this anytime soon, to be honest. But I just want to get started. And then lastly, we have the Save 200 challenge. So in here, I've got 25 in cash. And then I have a load of coins, which I will not subject you to hearing me count. But speed this bit up. Okay, so there's 34 in cash, bing, 35, Jesus, 34 in coins, 25 in cash, so that's 59, isn't it? Cool, okay, oh, yeah, and I broke my nail. Broke my nail trying to save my water bottle from falling off the table at work, but I'm getting a new set of nails next week. Yeah, next weekend, so I'm not too bothered, to be honest with you. But if you're wondering why I only have nine nice nails, that is the reason. So let me put all of these back in here. And then I'm going to add it up. And I'm going to do a very quick dice roll for the Save 200. Because I'm not doing a check-in video this week. Just because there's no point in me doing a check-in and I'm counting the cash again. Nope, I don't see the point. So I'm gonna just do the dice roll on here. All right, let me put this over there. And then let's add these up. Cool. 
cool so all together i have where should i write it i'm gonna write up here because i didn't add a totals box <laughs> so and if i've gotten something wrong if i haven't counted something let me know in the comments but i've got seven thousand four hundred and thirty three fifty altogether which isn't bad considering like my sinking funds are not that um like i spend money on my sinking funds all the time to be honest with you so it's more my savings challenges where i'm really bulking the money up I'll tell you what let me just i'm not even gonna do that i'm gonna take it away to make sure we get to zero so let me just double check Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so take away two. Yeah, cool. All right, so that's correct. Nearly made a mistake, but I rectified it. Okay, so yeah, I've saved this year, 2024, I've saved £7,433.50, and pence, which isn't bad. Next month, I want it to say, I say 10000 That's the aim for next month. All right, so quickly, let's do a dice roll put some more money into this save 200 so that's a five i'm gonna take the money out of these are my cash envelopes I'm not counting these because these are like everyday expenses i'm constantly going in here for money um i don't have change let's do i don't want to do that because i might spend it let's do food because let's take five out of food cool so there's now 64 in here i think what i do is at the end of the month because literally i go on holiday and then i get paid like two days after i get back so i'm not really going to be touching my um cash envelopes too much my my back hurts okay my i'm not gonna be um touching cash envelopes too much but i'm gonna do like a big dice roll and just i want this to be finished to be honest with you <laughs> i'm a very impatient person um and yeah stuff in like five pounds a week or two pounds a week in there for me personally i just feel like oh god this is taking forever so i want to get that one done but yeah i'm happy with that total i hope you guys like the addition of this video to my schedule um, if you're celebrating Easter, I hope you have an amazing Easter. If you're having um, lamb, I hope it's amazing. Um, I'm really looking forward to my lamb chops. I've already seasoned them. They're in the fridge, uh, marinating, marinating with a tea. So they will be done and nice for tomorrow. And I'm going to make some roast potatoes, Yorkshire puddings. Yeah, I think I already have told you the menu, but I'm really, I'm looking forward to eating a good dinner and seeing my family so whatever you do on easter sunday and back holiday monday hope you have a great time if you're working uh all i can say is i commend you because <laughs> it couldn't be me but i have a half is actually working he's not going to be here for easter dinner um he's working working hard so yeah if you're if you have to work over this back holiday weekend yeah you're you're a better person than me that's all i can say but yeah i will be back next week with a check-in and until then have a great week and yeah i'll see you back here next week for more of the same bye guys <laughs>